All right. So right before bed last night, I had a couple of a couple of nice insights. <clears throat> so the first one, I'll just uh, I was watching the, the show on my kids, the uh, Let It Be little section from Across the Universe, the movie based on the Beatles music, and it's really powerful performance. And uh, I was trying to explain to them what was going on, you know, the, the riots, and the Vietnam War, and uh, kids are four and seven, so I always over-explain things, but anyways, just the thought occurred to me, the connections we all have, uh, you know, there, there are certain things that all people have in common and can relate to on one form or another. Uh, Know, basic emotions, uh, love, death, you know, life, hunger, thirst, you know, cold, illness, helplessness. All these things we can all relate. And uh, this is happening. We can connect to. Um, yep. <laughs> so a woman was trying to pull into a thing and then the light was green up ahead and I couldn't get, I was in the turning lane. So then I finally got the opportunity to go around her and the light is red and then she turned right in and so my, me going around her and doing anything but waiting was a waste. Anyways, another opportunity to learn patience. Uh, another thing people should be able to, able to connect on is uh, uh, we're all technically children of God. We're all God's children. And uh, if you believe that, then you should feel a deep fundamental connection to every other human being and even people even people you don't feel an immediate connection to or you don't think you would be able to relate to I just saw two kids two young kids you know bobbing their heads to some music in a, in a, in a car they look kind of gangsterish or want to be gangsterish my immediate thought was, oh, they're very different than me, but as I'm talking about this, it's like, you know what? They're not. They feel hunger. They they get tired. They make mistakes. They need help with things. Um, they make the same... They miss the mark. In a lot of the same ways, I'm sure. They do things to get attention. You know, instead of the right reasons they they try to you know have things done their way instead of waiting for God to do them or you know the right conditions or are doing them the way God wants me to, to do them you know I'm sure at times they lack patience and I know I lack patience there's times when I judge people like I judge them and uh, there's times when I don't I can't read minds, and I misinterpret people, or don't pick up on the cues they're giving me. I'm, you know, wrapped up in my own agenda, or at least unaware of theirs, and so I end up inadvertently, you know, making their life harder, not helping with the struggles that they're going through, or making them worse. So... I have all these insights. <clears throat> now I'm just trying to find ways to, you know, make them better, make myself integrate them more into who I am. When I open my eyes, with what eyes do I see? Do I have generous eyes? 
think that's uh, look on the world with generous eyes. Matthew something. There's two right next to each other that I always use. Um, anyways, that's uh. guy blaring country music over here. I don't get it. <laughs> Is there something to get? There's things I do that I'm sure that, you know, I enjoy. Bring a little joy into my life. That, uh, you know, people think are strange. Actually, I know for a fact. People think I'm strange. You know, uh, I had a girl the other day. I was, told her I did parkour and she's like you are so weird because all the other things I do the fasting people think that's weird um, I don't watch TV I don't even my, the TV I have doesn't get reception for some reason in my apartment building I can't get reception and I'm not paying for cable but I don't miss it uh, I'm missing nothing there's nothing on television. So, I choose to distract myself with other things. I feel like I'm being led to, uh, to make like a course, to break it up, and to go in depth, and then people can kind of get the course, but then I would also offer like personal coaching. I'm debating whether to charge money for it, or, you know, I don't know, charge money or just do it. You know, or just have people donate, you know, freely give, freely receive, you know. I think that might be the better way. That be, might be more, the more Christian way to do, to do that. Freely give, freely receive, because... <clears throat> ideally... I would just help people, and then people would donate, and then that's how I could, uh, you know, I would, I would get all the money I need from that. I think I would still massage part-time somehow. Um, massage part-time, I still like that. I don't know why I'm talking about that, I'm sorry. Off, way off topic, holy moly. Um, but yeah, the course break it up into small things and then people can get the parts that they feel they need or are most applicable for what they need and then the coaching they can just get to either help them understand better or some people just need that human interaction they can't they don't know how to absorb information from a video or an article or so I think that's what I need to do. I just need to start building that. I'm really not good at follow through. I think I need to pray for follow through. I'm good at ideas. I'm really good at understanding. But just, you know, building something, keeping that motivation going over the long term, I am not good at. I hate it because there's so much I want to do and so many ways I want to help but I don't seem to be able to follow through different things just keep coming up that distract and pull me away and then I get tired and then I'm trying you know dealing with that and then dealing with this and dealing with that and it's always something different to pull me off course it sucks that's my those are my challenges. 
follow through. But I keep talking about it, and keep praying on it, and hopefully God will, if that's what he wants me to do, he'll guide me and give me the, set my path. I don't know what I'm missing. I don't know if, I don't know if it's on my end or it's just not the right timeline. I don't know if it's my time, you know, I'm trying to rush something and God's like, no, not yet. That's why, you know, I keep getting distracted by things or, uh, I don't know, is it the devil pulling me off course? You know, giving me stuff to do. A little new, you know, uh, I had to fix my car the other day. So, you know, just worried about that, running around, trying to get Ubers. I don't know. Sun's on my... So, I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if when I ramble like this, people get value out of it. Probably not. Um, probably lose viewers pretty quick once I start rambling. But then again, I don't know. I can't assume. I always feel like by just sharing as I feel it, I'm giving God the opportunity to speak through me. So I'm trying to not filter too much. I'm trying to not, you know, have my outline that I follow you know, I start the videos, and then I, you know, with an idea, and then I just kind of let it flow. And sometimes really good things come up, and then other times I don't feel like they're that great. But I still upload them. And it may, uh, you know, a marketer might think it kills my brand. You know, not great brand building, but... It is what it is, and it'll speak to the people that God wants to hear. That's what uh, that's what I gotta believe. So, um, well, I guess I'll just I guess I'll just end there. I'm gonna try to build that course, include all the ideas, and put it in a way that will hopefully help the most people. meant to find it, I pray that you find it. I pray that you find these videos. Alright, God bless.